Antarctica is a land frozen in time. It was once green, beautiful and lively like modern day Naples, but that hasn't been the case since dinosaurs walked the earth. Now it's an arid land covered with massive sheets of ice and records average winter temperatures of 78 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. But there can be some benefits of land locked in ice. Its history is frozen with it. And some of this history is as old as the planet itself, and lots of recent discoveries not only prove it, but are also warning us of upcoming calamities. The world could be on the brink of destruction by sea rising hundreds of feet to swallow millions. Welcome to Factnominal. Today, we are looking at 10 terrifying and amazing discoveries from Antarctica. How deep is deep south? No, we are not talking about America's deep south, but the Earth's deepest point in the south. Thanks to a new map of the Southern Ocean, scientists have compiled the most detailed view of the 18.5 million square miles of the seafloor surrounding the deep south continent Antarctica, including its deepest point, the Factorian Deep. It was discovered in 2019, but until now we had no idea how deep it is. But it is confirmed now that it is 24,400 feet below the sea surface. That's like stacking 17 Empire State Buildings downwards from the sea level. Crazy. Doomsday Glacier Movies often like to imagine if the ice caps of poles have some ancient monsters frozen in them. But monster-esque creatures are not the only end of all ends waiting for us under the waters of Antarctica. There is a reason Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica is named the Doomsday Glacier. If it's cut loose, it would raise sea levels by over 10 feet, causing tsunamis of incredible proportions that will cause devastating harm to civilization. According to the robots that went underwater to peer under the hood of this glacier, the news is not good at all. Scientists discovered that the glacier is holding on by its fingernails at the moment, and doom may come for us all sooner than we expect due to rapid movement and an extreme spike in ice loss. So if you still don't believe in global warming, you better change your opinion soon, because the sea may rise any day to hundreds of feet to swallow us all. Watery Grave if you are wondering what is causing ice in Antarctica to melt, well, here's your answer. This year, the average temperature at the South Pole was 8.6 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than average. And it's not just Antarctica. The Arctic has experienced 6 degrees rise in temperature this year. This heat wave phenomenon on both poles is alarming because poles are supposed to have contrasting seasons. As spring arrives in the Northern Hemisphere, the Arctic is just starting to thaw while Antarctica is beginning to freeze after months of summer melt. Is this the beginning of the end? The Ice Fish City Scientists may have not found Atlantis while studying seafloor around Antarctica, but they did find a city on the floor of the Weddell Sea. A trove of 60 million nests covering an area of 93 square miles with every nest containing approximately 1,700 eggs each, with apparent ice fish standing guard atop each nest. However, as large as their number is, this massive ice fish colony is more of a farm than a city, as it will most likely serve as prey for Weddell seals. Poor fishies. Lake Eagle Snow is as big as a city. Two miles underneath the East Antarctic Ice Sheet, scientists also discovered a hidden lake that has a surface area of 143 square miles that is now named Lake Snow Eagle. It is believed that this lake could be what remains of a 34 million year old river, and the sediments of it must be older than the ice sheet itself. Agents of Doom They say trouble doesn't arrive alone, and Thwaites Glacier is not the only worrisome news from Antarctica. Using ice penetrating radar mounted on aircraft, researchers have also discovered a massive underground river that flows beneath four separate ice masses for nearly 300 miles. That makes this river longer than the Thames River, and it is draining ice from a region that is bigger than France and Germany combined. That is more than double the size of Texas. If this entire region melted because of global warming, global sea levels would rise by 14.1 feet and bring down the apocalypse. The Martian Connection in 2004, NASA's Opportunity rover made what was thought to be an impossible discovery, Gyrosite. On Earth, gyrosite can be found in piles of mining waste that have been exposed to air and rain, but it's not common. So naturally, a mineral that water forms should not exist on Mars. 
Scientists theorize that the gyrocyte could have been born on Mars within massive ice deposits that might have blanketed the planet billions of years ago. But such a phenomenon has never been observed anywhere in the entire solar system until now. Nobody expected to find gyrocyte in Antarctica. But a surprising discovery of this brittle yellow-brown mineral within the layers of a 1,620-meter-long ice core, which records thousands of years of Earth's history, is suggesting the gyrocyte was perhaps forged the same way on both planets, from dust trapped within ice deposits. Its discovery on Earth would help scientists to find out how important glaciers were on the red planet millions of years ago how they carved valleys and shaped Mars overall, and perhaps aided Martian life if there was any. Frozen World of Aliens? Alien life is not just extraterrestrial, it can be life on Earth that is unknown to us. This year researchers discovered somewhat of a pleasant surprise when they dug 1,640 feet or 500 meters below the surface of the Larsen Ice Shelf in Antarctica, after noticing an unusual groove in a satellite image of the ice sheet. To their surprise, the cameras deep into the sea ran into thousands of new subspecies of tiny crustaceans known as amphipods. Not only that, but they also found a certain kind of algae called phytoplankton blooming deep in the abyss without any light source. Algae need sunlight for photosynthesis, which is very essential for their survival. But the discovery shows that the algae can thrive with as little as 1% of the light available at the surface. Also, who knows, there could be bigger, dangerous monster-like creatures lurking down there in the abyss as well. What would happen if we find them or they find us? Bye-bye A-76A -bye NASA's Terra satellite has also captured more trouble brewing as it snapped the image of the world's largest iceberg, A-76A, floating in the mouth of the Drake Passage. The Drake Passage is known to be the Green Mile of Glaciers as when icebergs that drift into it are quickly dragged eastward by strong ocean currents, then whip northward into warmer waters where they completely melt soon after. A-76A is an enormous ice slab around 84 miles long and 16 miles wide, and it has begun its journey away from Antarctica. We can only embrace what will happen when it will meet its watery grave. Noah, prepare that boat please! Million-Year-Old DNA Not all discoveries in science are meticulously planned. Some, as Bob Ross said, are happy accidents. And these happy accidents are supposed to be as old as Homo erectus, the oldest known ancestors of modern humans. The DNA was found while collecting routine seafloor sediment samples in the Scotia Sea. Scientists are still figuring out which sort of microbes this DNA belongs to, but it comes from a period when the Earth was getting hotter for a while. This is why this DNA could be a key to helping us understand how global warming caused by us would impact the ecosystem. Do you think we missed any important discovery from Antarctica this year? Tell us in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching Factnomino.